Seven weeks ago, I started training for my first half marathon. I've always considered myself an athlete. I've played sports my entire life, but I always, always, always hated running. Now, I've only ran for seven weeks, so I'm a complete beginner. But if you're looking to start out, here are my five tips to get you into running. My first tip, and I think the most important of all, is to ditch the treadmill and run outside. I hated running on the treadmill during winter here in New York. And once I started running in Central Park, it became so much easier. So ditch that treadmill, go outside, find a nice park near you, and you'll see how, how much of a difference it makes. My second tip is that getting a watch is definitely helpful. I used to track my runs with apps like Map My Run through my phone, and I didn't feel like I was getting a lot from it. With the watch, I can go into the outdoor run workout and it would give me my pace, my heart rate, the rolling miles, and how many miles I've gone through. This is great for me because I can adjust my pace during the run and I can get an update on my run whenever I feel like it. Whereas with my phone, I would have to get my phone out, unlock it, and see the update and put it away. So I think it's very important because you get a lot of live data and I'm sure the Apple Watch isn't even the best running watch. I know my friend Falk has a Garmin. I'll have to check it out in the future, but just get yourself some kind of watch. It can be basic as long as you can get some live stats so you're able to adjust your run on the fly. The third thing I learned, which is really important, is your heart rate in terms of how fast you get tired and of course your health. During my runs, I check my Apple Watch to see my heart rate and I always try to keep my heart rate around the 160s. This obviously depends if I'm doing a hard run or a slow run, but generally the 160s, 170s is my goal. Once I see that I'm approaching the 180 territory, I try to breathe slower, I try to slow down a little bit, so I calm myself down. Because the higher your heart rate is, the faster you're gonna get tired. There's a lot of factors that go into your heart rate, so just because you're going at a slower pace than normal doesn't mean that your heart rate isn't gonna go up, so always keep that in mind. A couple of weeks ago, I actually was doing a routine run and my heart rate got all the way up to 200, which is very dangerous because your max heart rate should be 220 minus your age, which in this case is 24. So I would be 196 for me. And obviously it's not healthy to maintain this heart rate for a long period of time. Thankfully it was towards the end of my run and I stopped and that's when a friend reached out and told me to keep my heart rate in mind because you don't wanna push your heart too much. So please take care of your heart. <laughs> now the fourth thing that actually my co-host Falk told me about is that especially in the beginning, you shouldn't worry about your pace. Just give yourself a goal, whether it be one mile, two miles, three miles, and get it done. It doesn't matter if you walk, if you run extremely slow, just get it done. It's important to check those milestones and just get those runs done without pushing yourself too hard. Because like with any other habit, if you push yourself too hard in the beginning, you're not going to maintain it for the long term. Just give yourself distance goals and get them done at your pace, very slow without overexerting yourself. After a couple of weeks or a couple of months, after you're really into it, you'll see your pace catch up naturally. Like I don't even try to go faster and I go faster just because my body is more used to running. So don't look at that pace number for now. And lastly, just enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it like any other habit, you're not gonna stick with it. You're not gonna follow through. So just enjoy it, enjoy the ride, go slow, go at your pace. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Peace.